Hey, this is Matt from avnation.tv. We're here at ISC 2016 in the club's booth. I'm here with my good friend Rob. Rob, how are you doing today? Good. Excellent. Rob, uh, it's been a while since we've been in one of your booths. Can you, can you show us what you're showing here at ISC? Sure. Well, we're showing uh, quite a bit of product. Uh, okay. We're showing kind of a smattering of what we offer in the commercial integrator space and in the residential CI space. And we have a few few products from, uh, you know, newer products from just the retail uh, side of things as well, just to show folks uh, what we have going on with the brand. Um, but in particular, some of the new items, uh, particularly for, for the European market that we're coming to market with in June, are our slim in ceiling sure. products. You'll notice this is only a 50 millimeter mm -hmm. um, depth product. So we've got a couple of uh, couple of models in Klipsch and a couple of models in Yamo as well that okay. we bring into market uh, in June. And you know these are these are something that our consumer integrators have been asking for um, as a problem solver for you know non typical uh, wall installations. Right. So um, we've gotten great response at the show from these. Uh, one of the one of the interesting things about them is we want to be able to actually make some base okay. in this ultra compact <laughs> chassis, right? Which right. is a difficult task. Mm -hmm. And so it is a fully enclosed model. It's base reflex with two new ports. Okay. Um, and, and we've uh, custom designed a special driver on the base unit to be able to get a decent amount of base. You know, right. it's not a subwoofer, obviously. Of course, of course. Um, but it, it won't be something that you have to apologize for if you need to use this in the situation to have a reasonable acoustic performance right. okay. from it. Yeah, because that's something that's uh, sometimes overlooked by uh, us in North America is that they don't build over here in Europe the same way we build back home. Uh, so it's nice to see that you guys are accommodating that. Sure. Now, is this something that's only going to be available in the European market? No, it'll be available worldwide. Okay. We just think the take rate over here obviously will be will be quite a bit better. Um, and we did voice it. Uh, we were using similar driver materials and voicing it alongside the current, you know, full depth product that okay. we offer in our reference series. Right. So if someone is using our box product or in wall or on ceiling product currently, uh, 3,000, 5,000 series reference product, uh, they can comfortably assort these SKUs and mix those into systems where they need to fit them, right. and they're going to sound and perform as a system. Beautiful. So not only, uh, obviously, in European markets where these will fit the bill perfectly, mm -hmm. but for those troublesome North American installs where you're running into exactly. an issue where you just have a depth issue, you can take advantage of this, that's great. Correct, and while we're on the subject of depth, in our commercial line, we just recently launched a Svelte oh, nice. uh, in-ceiling uh, uh, offering inside our commercial series as well. So while we have great base performance and great acoustic performance out of our typical line that's been in the market for years, you run into that situation where you have a ventilation issue or, or a constraint. Right. Um, so this has been a very popular choice just out the gate um, very nice. for people to adopt as well. All right, so moving over here, uh, tell us a little bit, these look a little bit different than what we just looked at. Can you uh, expand on that? Sure, so uh, we just talked about some of the Klipsch uh, architectural products, and you know, Klipsch has owned the Yamo brand for right. many years now. And the Yamo brand, in contrast to the Klipsch brand, is about uh, really a, a balanced uh, harmony between uh, the aesthetic and the acoustic performance, okay. and um, has a more laid back, sort of balanced uh, sound quality to it as well. So some of our um, you know, integrators or, or end use customers will enjoy the very dynamic and punchy clip sound with the directed right. horn, horn loaded technology. In Yamo, we're, we're, t we're using different materials and voicing those products to be a, a more laid back approach right. to sound. So the two are a nice yin, yin and yang okay. uh, in terms of an integrator being able to offer two different uh, sounding solutions. Right. And in terms of their uh, aesthetics also, this is a bezel-less finish on all right. of the Yamo products where you have a little bit of a, a minimum bezel, a little, little different look to the Klipsch products. So these are very, very harmonious nice. inside okay. the inside the uh, home as well. Very nice. Yeah, because you always have those uh, clients who maybe aren't looking for that super crazy performance level, they're looking for that very nice ambient performance. Exactly. And something that fits in with their space perfectly. Yeah, Sounds exactly. like Jamo's hitting the, the bill for that. Greatly. Yep. Perfect. All right, so we've moved over uh, here into your little home theater space, mm -hmm. and you were telling me some interesting stuff off camera about this. Can you expound on that? Sure. This is uh, part of the HD wireless series, which is just launching into the market right now. Awesome. And this is a unique technology for it. Um, one of the things you'll notice when you look at the back of this speaker is the absence of speaker wire. Right. Um, so this product has essentially a power cord. Okay. So you plug it into the wall and it wirelessly sets up with a small hub 
which okay. is really designed just to take your source inputs. So if you've the absence of receiver, right. absence of speaker wires. Very this nice. is a high performance audio solution okay. for someone who is non-traditional, right? They right. don't necessarily want to use a, a the receiver and all the rigmarole of, of connecting all of those components and optimizing them. It sets up very quickly. So that's certainly part of the story is much like a sound bar, it's right. easy to get up and running. But beyond a typical soundboard, this is also a high performance story. Right. In fact, with this range, we actually have one amplifier for each driver okay. inside the speaker. Okay. And we're using active DSP to make sure we get the maximum out of the product. Wow. In fact, here at ISC, we're demonstrating this without a subwoofer. Really? Just the two towers okay. to showcase how much output and even low extension capability we can get out of the system. The system is configurable up to 7.2. Okay. We have a, a tower speaker, a bookshelf speaker, a center speaker, and a subwoofer as part of the family. Right. So someone can easily configure anywhere from 2.0 to 7.2 uh, in a system. Right. Or they can begin with, say, a couple of speakers and a subwoofer and then right. move up move up to family and you know fill it out if they want to do surround sound later. Right, so definitely in those spaces where either you already have a finished room and you don't want all that additional gear or that uh, incurred in expense of rewiring the space, this sounds like the perfect fit. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is really targeted at somebody who is looking for high performance but easy setup. Right. Or some or a fixer as far as an integrator goes into a space and you know maybe it wasn't wired or thought about originally. Right. But somebody wants to add a high performance solution, it's a great way to go. And frankly, the hub is small enough mm -hmm. that uh, you could backpack it on really? a flat panel TV, right, and then make okay. that disappear and have that you know and have a really nice, nice you know solution. two channel or even up to seven channels. You said with just a display. Correct. That's fantastic. Uh, when are these starting to ship? These are just hitting the market now. Okay, right. so they're shipping today? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, and we've. I also noticed you have a large THX in-wall. Yes, and you know, we've, we've been in the THX Ultra and Select business with our in-wall speakers for a number of years now. Um, the change in, you know, first of all, we want to showcase how good, obviously, it, it still sounds and, right. and is, is the reference uh, standard out there for us. It's an enclosed product, so it's basically a bookshelf speaker in the wall. Right. Um, you're not depending on the wall's acoustics to have it perform, uh, which takes the guesswork out. Uh, but one of the changes we've made recently is we've um, incorporated the minimum bezel or the okay. nicer looking grill right. for um, this range of products. So essentially you get our best performance and you get now the clean aesthetics, clean aesthetics. of what we've been doing with our in ceiling speakers. It's been very well received and we've seen nice. a large increase in demand since we did this a couple of months ago. Very nice, yeah, because again with the, the smaller bezel, integrators can come in and ensure that that unit doesn't stick out. Exactly. If the client doesn't want it to, yeah. it allows it to, to fade into the background. Perfect. All right, now we've moved over to something I saw when I first walked in the booth because I'm a bit of a vinyl head. <laughs> uh, so as soon as I saw the turntable, I got excited. Um, explain, you know, A, why you're showing vinyl because there has always been kind of that train of thought that it's still dying, yet it still constantly seems to have this slow resurgence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you know the numbers are proven out that uh, more people are listening to vinyl again, and, and it's a growing trend. Uh, you see at your neighborhood Urban Outfitters, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> yes. stacked, they're stacked to the ceiling, and I think the younger generation is, is embracing it as, right. as a lifestyle and as a sort of a social experience again, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Um, what we have uh, brought to the market uh, that's just just shipped last month is the R15 PM, and it's uh, it has this sort of renaissance in mind. But uh, ultimately, this product is uh, our our take on uh, a way to solve the problem with, of great you know flexible acoustic performance without having a receiver. So you're looking at a powered speaker over here okay. that has, it's a jack of all trades in terms of inputs, including a phono input, so you okay. can directly hook up you know, your, your record player to right. it, you can hook a computer to it with USB, you can hook your TV to it in the auxiliary, it'll play from Bluetooth. So nice. essentially, uh, all you need is uh, this pair of speakers and you're able to utilize multiple sources right. and, and make an easy to set up high performance compact system. Very nice. Now, 
how long have you guys actually been making turntables? Has this been like one of those few products that's been almost through the entire history of the company? Uh, no, actually it hasn't, <laughs> although through our history, uh, Paul Klipsch was actually uh, instrumental in designing some cartridges for turntables okay. and you can walk through our facility and see Very on nice. display some of those some of those original things. In fact, another uh, bit of history with Paul is that his first uh, first product he ever designed was actually a pair of headphones. Really? Which we displayed at CES so we're over here <laughs> headphones. So just a you know much like much like the rest of us and an enthusiast. Right. Uh, and certainly wanted the best audio experience that he could have, whether it was you know a pair of headphones or, or listening on a, a pair right. of, of loudspeakers or making sure that every the source component in the chain um, you know was was uh, where it needed to be but in terms of our current uh, turntable offering we've uh, worked together with the uh, project to, to uh, supply us with a couple of uh, turntables so that we can make an easy bundle right. for somebody who wants to you know experience vinyl mm -hmm. or yeah. maybe vinyl at the next level exactly. they've, they've purchased an entry level product right. somewhere and they want to step their step up and listen to something that's higher performance and but do it you know in an easy to set up you know mm -hmm. e economical way right very nice excellent well thank you very much you bet